Hey. So today I'm talking about three liberating rules for getting dressed. I came up with these three rules back in the really, really early days of when I was integrating artistic principles into my personal style philosophy. I confess that when I started my blog, which was called The Space Between My Peers, and maybe I'll say explain where that came from someday, I started it almost 20 years ago. That was in late 2005. And my reason was mostly because I, as an extrovert, had a lot of words and sadly, not a lot of people to share them with. In those days, I was a homeschool mom and the social landscape was pretty sparse. For me, a person with extroverted feeling as a driver function, my social life felt like starvation rations. So I blogged about what was on my mind, which was mostly all the stuff I was learning about the art and science of personal style. Some of what I was learning back then made its way into my style personality quiz I built a few years ago. And you can take that quiz. Uh, you can find the link in the description below this episode or at my website, SignatureStyleSystems.com. So during that season, I developed my top three rules for getting dressed. Nowadays, I don't think about them so much because they've been with me for so long. It seems like they don't need to be said, but they do need to be said because there are still people who need to hear them. These three rules should feel liberating, not restricting. They put the person first. Arbitrary rules like no white before a certain date feel like they're just there to control people, but these rules are to enhance your enjoyment of life. And it should go without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway, you always have permission to break anything you hear from me as a rule, not that you need my permission. Without further ado, here are my original three rules for getting dressed. Rule number one, forget what the so-called fashion experts tell you. The focal point for every outfit should be your face. It shouldn't be any other body part or piece of jewelry or feather boa or your shoes or anything. I feel like this is a matter of human dignity because your face is where you connect with other people. That's where your humanity shows. That's the interface we have with one another. I, was that a stealth pun? Interface? Anyway, here are a few techniques and tools that you can use to uh, keep your face the focal point of your outfit. And there's more, I'm sure, but I'm going to give, uh, I think, five. I think I have five here. Okay, so one... Use a balance point that balances your head. And how you figure that out, it balances, yeah, your head or your face. If your hair and your face are close to the same color, you're just going to use the measurement from the top of your head to your chin. Or that's for, that's for the first balance point. Anyway, you're going to use your whole head, not just your face. If you have like, white hair and dark skin, or you have light skin and dark hair, you're going to just use your face. Um, so the first balance point is, is the length of from the top of your head or the, your hairline to your chin. Then you take that length and repeat it from your chin down to, it's going to be somewhere uh, in the middle of your chest. So a lot of times you're going to find that is a place that you that you uh, love a neckline that hits there or your favorite necklace hits there. Um, so something in your outfit should hit there and that's going to keep the focus on your face. Um, and then the second way to do a balance point is to take the um, the shape of your jaw from your widest point of your face and then repeat that again 
from next to your neck um, and then down and around uh, so that it's, yeah, it will be roughly the length below your chin or below your, um, where your neck meets your shoulders. Um, it'll be roughly that far below that as the widest, your chin is below the widest part of your face. See, this stuff is technical and this is some of the easier stuff, but I promise in my programs, I can help you and make it easy. And then, um, yeah, those, and you can also find information about balance points in a lot of, um, articles, I think on my website and also other websites on the internet. Um, okay. So that is one of the ways that you can, um, keep the focus on your face. Another way, this is, this is a little simpler to explain anyway. Uh, so don't have any point of greater color contrast somewhere other, uh, somewhere else on, on your body than the, uh, contrast that's near your face. Contrast being um, the difference between a light color and a dark color. So you may remember uh, a few weeks ago, I told a story about um, me where I, I'm super white. I, they used to, um, yeah, make fun of me and call me Casper when I was a teenager. Uh, so really white legs. And I had a pair of um, brown shoe. I wore a pair of brown shoes to this event. And my friends tried so hard to look at my face, but they could not help looking at my feet. Um, yeah. So don't, yeah, don't have some other strong color or an intense like white against black or something like that that's um, somewhere like lower on your, like if you're gonna have that, you need to repeat that near your face. Okay, here's a very simple one. Bookend your look by using shoes that are a similar color to your hair. So in um, visual grouping, I think is what it's called. Um, so for eye travel, if your shoes are similar to the color of your hair, it just makes it really easy for the eye to travel back up to the head. Um, and here's another one. Use accessories and details in your clothing that are reminiscent of the shapes found in your face. So if that, that says easy, but if it sounds hard to do, it is some something that I analyzed for you and teach you how to do in my accessory style guide. And you can learn more about that at signaturestylesystems.com. Okay, and use accessories as infrastructure in your outfit to lead the eye to the face. Then, so that's, those are some ideas to help you keep the focus on your face. The next two rules are more about the function of the clothes than the technical style lines and colors and artistic principles. So rule number two is everything you wear should make you feel like yourself, going where you're going and doing what you're doing. Nothing is more distracting than feeling like you're inappropriately dressed or you don't feel like yourself in what you're wearing. Be yourself. Then focus on reaching out and making other people feel comfortable or whatever it is that you do uh, in the world. Yeah, be yourself. We need you. Rule number three is never wear anything that takes constant attention in order for you to be able to function. So like tugging on your clothes is never elegant. I think that this would include things like... Um, shoes that are uncomfortable or um, clothes that don't fit right or don't stay in place when you move, that type of thing. So there you have it, short and sweet, three rules for getting dressed that put the person ahead of the clothes. So your homework assignment is just to 
look at your clothes and get rid of anything that doesn't make you feel like yourself. Uh, anything that um, doesn't, uh, that takes a lot of attention to wear um, that you have to keep tugging on or fussing with. And then um, play with the um, creating focal points in your outfits. Just pay attention to that and have fun. Have fun being you and I'll see you back here again real soon.